Okay, let's see if we can get started. I may be interrupted uh, and have to run away. I so, mean. no, no. Uh, I, <laughs> purely local concern. I've got somebody coming to talk to me about changing the heat in my house. Um, so, uh, and it's hard to get get these people to show up. So when they do, I'm going to preempt you. Um, but I don't think we have a long agenda today. Uh, the pipeline has not changed dramatically. We added a new maintenance viewer since last time. Uh, Alex Ivy has had a couple of updates since last time. Voice has had one. Uh, those updates were, of course, folding in the previous mate viewer. Um, that seems to have had a positive effect on everything's crash rates, which is wonderful. Um, we're still refining Alex Ivy. We've got certainly one and probably two more updates before that will be really a candidate for release. That is, we've still got bugs that uh, we, we wouldn't want to promote to the default viewer. Um, there's nothing other than the fact that it has a somewhat elevated crash rate. There's nothing wrong with the voice viewer, um, but it's not as elevated as it used to be. So uh, it's that is it's closer to the uh, to the default viewer than it used to be. Um, so that's well, it's a couple percent. Um, I don't I don't know what today's numbers are. They keep changing because we haven't accumulated a lot of data since the last update yet. Um, but it's, uh, you know, in general, all our viewers have been a little crashier over the last few months. Uh, See, we wouldn't know. Well, according to our reports, anyway, they are. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we wouldn't know about those reports. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of those reports, I, and, though. And I don't necessarily trust these reports all that. All that oh, much, I see. Um, for various reasons, um, we, we we're working. We're working on that. Those reports. Uh, I'll I'll see what happens if I try to generate the ones for yours. Um, uh, anyway, um, they are trending in the right direction again, although they're they're much higher than we'd like. All of them, including the default viewer, are a little higher than we'd like them to be. Um, but I think we're making progress on that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we're getting better reporting. I don't know. So um, that's all. That's all happening. There's a new maintenance viewer out um, with a collection of bug fixes. Um, it's doing doing pretty well, uh, and we are going to start seeing updates on the 360 snapshot viewer again shortly. Uh, so that should catch up and get get all of these fixes pulled into it because it's it's a little behind right now. Um, and let's see. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to make sure that I advertised is that we're in the process of revamping the viewer splash screen um, for our viewer, which if you're using it, you will just inherit the way everything else does. Uh, as long as you're building with CEF, that should just work. Um, should is the key word, but um, that's, uh, that's out there. And um, are you changing any of the RSS feeds? Not. I don't, well, I'm not sure whether we change the RSS feeds. Um, let me introduce Fronimas. Wow, a new Linden. He's out here somewhere. Yes, he's uh, right behind you. Hello, he's, new Linden. He's, he's doing, the, he's doing the, the splash screen changes and the widget changes, but I don't know whether we changed the RSS feeds. There's no plan to change those right now. Okay, we we are fixing the the we are improving. I won't say fixing because that's a that's a little strong. We are improving the 
the uh, data that's in the traffic on those a little bit. Um, so, uh, but the widgets themselves are being updated. So, okay, so that's probably going to affect us. So that if you're using the widgets, those will you'll you'll want to retest with those, and um, pretty soon we should have. Uh, if if we don't already uh, have a way to see the new widgets, is that true? That was a question for you, from us. Sorry, I had some uh, sound okay. issues. Can you repeat that? Oh, sure. Uh, the um, are the are the new widgets in an S3 bucket or something somewhere where? people can be testing against them soon? Uh, right now they're not. OK. Well, shortly we will be putting those up where where you can test against them. I will put a note on open source dev and I'll probably one on TPVD announce as well when that happens. Um, we're, we still have a few little, little tweaks on our version of things to do. Um, and then we'll put those where they can be seen so that you can see whether they mess you up. The new ones are are much nicer looking. I just got a demo yesterday. I'd I'd love to I'd love a demo. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> the 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 big the big difference in the in the splash screen well it, it has a different look and feel it rearranges the information in a way that's a little bit gets the priorities a little bit better. The status is much more prominent. Grid status is much more prominent than it was, and uh, the whole thing is responsive now. So you can do it on big screens or small screens, and you still get something that's that's reasonable. I mean, there are obviously limits on the small screen part, but uh, anything that would make a decent sized viewer screen, it works on. <laughs> Prominence is getting um, initialized. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, uh, I have to sign you up for the bear making class for a while. Um, next time they do one. Initiation. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I think that's. That's the announcements I wanted to make. So the floor is open. Um, we're about to set back a little bit. We're trying to um, I think we've lost Nikki. And uh, so we're just trying to piece together uh, Nikki's work with um, various libraries and things like that. So we're. Our release is going to be delayed, like that never happens with Iris time. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm obviously I'm in no position to complain about other people slipping schedules. Um, The uh, kitty, uh, you certainly I are welcome to. I think those fixes are already in RC. Oh, are uh, they? Actually, in, they're in Moonshine, yeah. At least uh, one of them. I'm checking on the second. OK. Um, any ETA on the ACID HTTP switch? Uh, you mean on turning off the old interfaces? Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, we haven't gotten around to setting a date for that. Good. We should 
We should do that, Grundy. You should not do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I said anything. For we're just, definitely going to do that. But Where's my uh, men in black? Thanks for the reminder, there. Jess. <laughs> You've been memory erased. Next week. Uh, well, since we have Grumpity's attention, I've been instructed that I need to once again say, Hey, Grumpity, is the estate tools getting any loving? Oh, right. And, and yes, I was so, told to say that. Um, <laughs> I, I know you may have heard that we now have a new product person, and her name is Alexa. Oh, and they're now her problem. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. Uh they have not gotten any love, but they're next in line. We just need to ship some things first. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just have, uh, I'm instructed to do these tags, so. I totally don't mind because I also really want to get to these things. Yay. Yeah, we, we like to send some love our landowner's way every now and then. Um, I guess I'm going to have to be talking to Alexa. Um, <laughs> uh, what? Um, I'm seeing comments about it stalls. All textures will stop Kitty's, down there. Kitty's talking about, um, acid HTTP, I think. Oh. Uh, well, that, I have not seen that, so I guess I'm interested. Uh, is Kitty talking about where Acid HTTP got stuck in the same priority pool as textures and they have to share a request count? Well, that wouldn't cause a five-minute stall. Uh, it can cause the asset request to get like backed up behind textures and textures to get stuck behind assets depending on what's going in and out. You're getting rid of it, Kitty. You can't get rid of it. Um, yeah, there isn't going to be much of an alternative. Um, so uh, we are going to be doing more work on that. I mean, we there's the the bug the uh, on the on HTTP asset fetching in general, which includes textures. Um, we do still have a bug that shows up on some people's systems some of the time uh, where the something causes the pipeline textures to get out of sync and bad things happen. We're trying to figure out how to make the well, for some people it happens frequently, for other people it never ever happens. Um, so we're not entirely sure what the what the distinction is, uh, but uh, you can rest assured that we that we believe that it does happen, and and we are deeply troubled by it. And actually, it is getting paid attention. People are working on it, even as we speak. Um, so we'll see. Um, since we since we have trouble reproducing it. Um, it's going to take us a little while to be confident, but uh, really, we will throw some test viewers your way since you seem to be able to reproduce it pretty readily. Uh, well, the point. thing about Acid HTTP is our next release. Uh, we don't have it in our release because, remember, we didn't wait for it. Um, and uh, now our release is delayed because of um, some restructuring internally. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I don't know when we'll have it out. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think we'll be fooling with the server side until you know after the New Year. busy season. Yeah. Cool. Well, and in fact, um, turns out that our busy season extends through like Valentine's Day, so chances are we won't mess with it even before then. Unless we do it next week. Unless we do it next week. No. That, that's, <laughs> let's not do that. Um, yeah. So, uh, but we've, we've got a lot going on. 
uh, both visible things that you know are readily visible things or things that will shortly be readily visible uh, and other things that are fixing the way the world is put together then uh, that will enable us to do cool things in the future so I don't suppose you're able to speak about or maybe you have already um, well I don't imagine you'd be able to speak about the whole uh, migrating everything over to cloud uh, just that it's happening and it's going to be a several step process uh, and it's going to take gonna a while. You're going to be hosting regions on the cloud? Yeah. We're going to move the whole thing eventually. Mm. Amazon so cloud? that's the plan. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, neither do I. Yes, we're we're going to we'll tell you, we'll tell you when it works. Great. I've, I've, heard, I've heard from uh, somebody who is fairly senior, uh, works for a cloud hosting company, and um, they are open sim, mind you. Uh, but his theory is that it's going to be a complete disaster. Of course, this is coming from one person, so who knows? But um, Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're doing things in... Um, we're, we're doing things in, in stages. Um, yeah, asset storage has, has been in S3 for years. Um, they, uh, and, and, you know, we'll, as, as we move different services, uh, in whatever order we, we, we end up deciding to move them, uh, we will see what effect it's having on performance and reliability and so forth. Um, we've already begun experimenting with some things, mostly things that are only accessed very indirectly by users, um, and we're learning something. But uh, it's it's coming. Uh, it's it's going to be a slow process. Now that Sensestar is uh, kind of released, is there someone we can speak to directly? specifically to sensor i think there should be a user group just for sensor now there are regular meetings oh, for but sensor. that would that would be in sensor wouldn't it yeah <laughs> makes sense <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> okay, i don't mind. i'm just gonna go back to bed i don't i don't go to them uh <laughs> and i have no idea what they talk about but they i do know that they exist um and uh and that there are Lindens participating. That's you've, you've now used up what I know about them. Damn. Uh, but uh, it's all it's all out there. Oh, Willie's got a good question. Will that make it cheaper to run the regions, and can we have lower tier? I suspect so. That's a that's a really good question. To which you don't know. I, the, the honest answer is we can't be completely sure. We certainly hope so. We, in the long run, we think it will be. Whether or not it will be, you know, sort of on the day that we, that we get things working there um, is still an open question. We really don't know. Um, in part because, for example, we don't, we don't know for sure, you know, costs vary um, dramatically depending on uh, what instance types you you use for things and we have no way of knowing for sure until we've actually done it um, what the uh, you know what what instance types we'll have to use to get the performance that we need so lots to learn there lots to do uh, and we're not we're still fairly early in the process. I mean, we've been working on the infrastructure for this for a while, um, but we haven't got any big services moved yet. So, still much to learn. Uh, okay, this is a silly question. Um, is it also possible that you'll have some scalability of region sizes? I don't I, think as, as an added benefit, I I don't 
No comment. Uh, I, oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I, I don't really have any way to answer that. I'm, I'm, there, there's, yeah, I mean, there are questions that we, these are questions that we ask ourselves as well, and we won't really be able to answer them until, uh, you try until it. right, until we've tried it. And so this is also right. a no comment question. Do we want to be able to do this? Yes, we want to be able to instance regions when they're busy. We want to be able to provide much faster connections to people who are in Australia. And do um, you want to be able to create larger regions? That's the question. We uh, are certainly, uh, we've certainly discussed such possibilities as well. Uh, that's, uh, but what that's will actually, actually not be possible, mostly... we don't know. That's actually not mostly dependent on whether or not we're running it in the cloud. Um, that's well, that's mostly why I'm saying that because uh, the I, region I, sizes are pretty deeply baked into. I mean, it's a some, yeah. it's an assumption that's pretty deep, deep deeply baked into the code, both in the viewer and in the simulators, and probably in other things as well. Um, certainly, right. in fact, in what, other what things as well. It could allow us to do is um, not larger regions, but regions, for example, that can handle more load. Yeah. Because we won't be bound by the machines that are running them. So it's very difficult to say what will actually be possible because we are not quite there yet. But these are all goals towards which we are working and some of the reasons for why we're doing this move, which is Right. Hefty and costly and complex. And is causing all of us to lose sleep. Well, I will thank you for losing sleep on our behalf. Well, it's, uh, it's, I, I, it's, I, a, it's, it's a safe to it's say a, that. It's a pretty great adventure, actually. Um, uh, I mean, every engineer loves a challenge, and this is definitely uh, a challenge. But it's, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how soon we're going to have anything definitive to say about, you know, we have succeeded in moving XYZ to the to the cloud, and you should therefore see some difference. Um, in fact, it will probably be quite some time simply because the first few things we'll, we move will be things where you don't have any way of seeing any, any real difference. Um, for example, we might, I'm just picking this example not because it's a good one, just sort of semi at random um, you know the login service is a is a separate set of things and we could theoretically move those machines uh, move those services to the cloud um, relatively quickly and if we did you wouldn't see any difference uh, I mean unless we broke it but in which case we would move it back right away which is how we do things um, so most likely the first few things we move will be things you won't see, if only because it would be nice to have things that you don't see to, to experiment. That actually work, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we haven't even gotten to the point of having a, a real solid plan about what order we're going to do things in. Um, the, uh, in. In order to do the move, we need to get everything upgraded to newer versions of the OS platforms than they're on now, and we're still in that process. Uh, making good progress on that part, actually. Yeah, I didn't, I actually didn't expect you guys would increase region sizes. In fact, well, I we'll... state my reputation. On, I had a friend <laughs> ask me about that. I said, no, that's even not likely. No. Uh... But if you guys, if it's if it could be true that there are Lindens who would like to be able to do that, then then that's that doesn't oh, there mean are definitely... that it's possible. It just yeah, means there are that definitely there is that's, a will. That's certainly true. Yeah, we'd oh, love to be able to know. do it. Um. Grumpy, it's wonderful to have you talk yes. about this sort of stuff publicly. I wish more people, well, so I better be careful what I wish for. I wish more people would pay attention to meetings like this uh, with Linden Lab. 
Honestly. Well, OpenSIM does still have what they call VAR regions, which are 4096 regions, but they are horribly buggy and they've never been able to get them to work properly. We, we, don't, we don't need to stream the meetings. I don't feel like it. fixing the viewer code for it. <laughs> well, it's more than yeah. that, from what I understand. They can't afford to pay us to do it. <laughs> yeah. It mainly um, comes down to they can't afford $75 an hour. Well, well uh, it's more than that. Nobody at OpenSim has, none of them are on the same page. They all have different goals. There's like no organization whatsoever. And the fact um, that it's mostly developed by Melanie now and Chinese people? <laughs> or Gambling Grid. Yeah, right. Uh, so, uh, stats would be great. Um, release with Firestorm's release of H Acid HTTP is definitely delayed. So that switch, long time away, please. And um, that's about it. Was there a disaster earlier this oh, week? That's oh, a right. good question, what happened yes. to... what okay. happened another, to... another reason for us to move out um, of the colo and into uh, the cloud happened. True. So your current release is 507-52912? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those reports work. I'll, um, I'm not going to have time to do them today, but I'll, I'll run cool. them all on Monday and send them out. Awesome. Yeah, we have we have it in our in our repository. Yeah, you'll be, we, we don't have. You'll be, you'll be happy with it. There's some. Oh, really? Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Good. Uh, we don't have our code signing set up right now, and it's all kinds of other things. We can't do havoc builds yet. So actually, releasing it is—we're um, not there yet. I've experienced a texture stalls thing. It's weird, and I can never figure out why it's happening. Pearl gets stuck in a weird busy loop. I don't know. It's something I... deep down inside Curl's timing. It just sits stuck. Huh. Okay. Well. We're we're fussing with that stuff, so maybe we'll have an effect on it whether we intend to or not. Yeah, well, I would expect stalls if pipeline got out soon. That would make that would make sense. Although it ought to eventually recover. Uh, it either recovers or it crashes. One of the two happens right. on a good day. Well, it's peculiar that it doesn't seem to happen to us, but. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're certainly talking to different CDN nodes than we are. Most of us. Any 
other topics? Or do we get to start the weekend early? Uh, I, I noticed Simon was poking the HTTP2 libraries. Um, yeah, that's one branch of what we're investigating. That's that probably at this point. It. That's at this point. That's considered the highly experimental branch. But if it works, um, you know. Jess actually forgot something. Uh, I always forget something. What I forget? You forgot to invite everybody to the party tomorrow. Oh yes, yes, she... yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, funny enough, I was just thinking that, and then somebody sent me something. Thank you, Beck. Um, yeah, our anniversary was last week, uh, but it was postponed till this Saturday. So we've got an anniversary party on a Saturday. We got a nice little gift, as we usually do. Beautiful little mule. <laughs> they made us a mule. Um, I'd like to think it represents our stubbornness, perhaps. The fire ass. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, everybody's invited to come and grab the gift. It's free. I'll have to get one of those so that I can put it out on Hypertropolis. <laughs> You want some hemorrhoid cream to go with that? <laughs> I'm telling you, the jokes are going to be everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'll probably. Anyway, it was it was from um, awesome um, awesome breed creations. They do horses. It is very nice. Yeah, there's the picture of it. One I don't know PM if it's readable SLT. yet. Or anything like okay. And we'll probably have it out for. Two weeks. We'll see. Very cute. Ass. <laughs> oh uh, god, the jokes uh, are gonna be. Firestorm has a great ass. <laughs> yeah, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. He is. He is. It is very nice. It looks very nice. But the jokes are gonna be everywhere. Anyway, we do appreciate. In case they watch this video, I want them to know we do very much appreciate the gift. Cool. Most of the team are in Florida, uh, so communicating with them right now is a bit tricky. Or Florida. Oh, it's. I had I have a bunch of chores for tomorrow, but if I can sneak away for a little bit, I'll I'll see if I can drop it. All right, I think we're done. Uh, have a good weekend, folks, and I don't think I'm done because I have a feeling there's a few people here who want to speak with me. How did you guess? Just a lucky guess. Purely a lucky guess. People always want to speak with you. Y you want me to accidentally kick you off, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would that would be that would might be beneficial. <laughs> I I know where that button is. <laughs> <laughs> We're planning on three hours, I believe, is what we have planned. Two now. Oh, or two, two hours? Okay, two, two hours. Two so. hours right. Well, actually, we can go longer if Ed wants to do Okay, let's, we'll talk about it. I'll meet you guys at the messy right. spot. Bye. Have a good weekend, folks. Bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Kitty, there was no near to have an hour-long bitch fest with. Hello, sweetie.